in the name of the wee disabled man, has anyone done college? Has anyone started college? Has anyone in their second year? Wow. I'm doing an HNC in computing science. I say doing, I'm, I'm hanging on by the skin of my, my toenails. Um, so today was the first day of my block two. So there's already been a block one. The reason why I never done any videos about it is because, first of all, the two subjects were a little boring. One of them's Harvard referencing professionalism and ethics and a lot of it's just reading and referencing and very boring. Um, it has to be done in case the student wants to go to co uh, university after college. I don't think I will be but um, and the other one was team working which is reasonably enjoyable you know and it wasn't too difficult but now we're in block two and uh, and I get maths and I ain't no mathematician never was uh, and so this morning provided maybe that I got up in time and everything went swimmingly then I think stress, anxiety, pain all that jazz might have been kept you know, under uh, a certain threshold. However, my morning never went to plan, which sometimes happens to plan, which I'll go into in a wee minute, like what it causes. But the subject, maths, so I've been the subject was we started off doing matrices, um, doing like I've got I've got I'm not going to pretend that I remember anything that was spoke about in the class, but. Um, so some of the definitions are the order of a matrix, elements, rows, columns, square matrix, row matrix, column matrix, equal matrices, schematic square matrix, skew schematic square matrix. That's a bit of a uh, tongue twister, to say the least. A diagonal matrix, identity matrix, unit matrix, a null matrix, and transpose. So. I'm not going to lie, when I was listening to the tutor, I was keeping up, um, however, I wasn't, so I don't have um, a scribe, well, if I was in college, I would have someone with me, um, you know, taking notes, jotting things down, doing sums, I would be saying it, of course, and then the person would be helping me by doing the manual labour, i.e. writing, flicking pages, clicking on websites, you name it. But So I'm in this room, as you know, I'm isolated. Um, this is, I think this is my last day, tomorrow's um, the big the big out. Uh, it'll not be the first time I came out. So the, the stress level from as soon as I opened my eyes was absolutely through the roof. The anxiety, the tightness in my chest, trying to breathe, you know, all because I knew I had college at nine o'clock this morning. You know, at nine o'clock this morning, through that door, there's a commode, a little throne, if you like. Um, I was lying, I was sitting on that, absolutely bullet naked, uh, while there was a class going on. The tutor and the, the rest of the students, obviously, um, weren't subject to watch this. I had the mic muted and my screen turned off but um, that's the joys of something not going to plan um, when you're you know when you, you rely on other people help look after you you know care and all the rest of it um, I'm not saying there was uh, there was anything wrong with my care this morning what I'm trying to say is sometimes things just don't go to plan and this morning was one of those so anxiety still I finished at 12 um, and right up until even now that there's still just that lingering you know that stress levels I've not been able to completely relax from the class um, anyway so 
maths, uh, what a subject. You know, I'm actually, I think once I get my teeth into it, I, um, I'll enjoy it. But if anyone is, you know, so this is pointed towards people that are maybe in a wheelchair that have aspirations, dreams, and if you want to go to college, it, it, it is hundred percent doable. Um, it is a hundred percent hard, and you know, if you like a challenge, you will you will thrive off it. Um, if you don't like a challenge, then it's maybe not ideal. Um, maybe you should just I don't know. Check out different courses. My mistake was. Um, I thought I was Billy Big Bollocks and I went, I'll do an HNC, no problem. I was even joking to some of the carers and saying that I was going to, you know, head the class and uh, star pupil and all this chance. I think week two, I spoke to my curriculum head and told them I needed to reduce to part time because I couldn't keep up. And that's due to a lot of things, that's due to, um, uh, you know, obviously my, my situation, but not being able to manually do things on the computer. Um, so I think not painting an, an accurate picture, maybe if I was in college, I would maybe be able to do the five units in a block. Um, I would like to think I would be able to do it with a little bit of assistance, someone in there helping me do, you know, all the, the time consuming uh, parts of the class. Anyway, um, for anyone that's looking to do college or uni, and you're in a wheelchair or you're, you know, at, at worst, can't use your hands, um, or, you know, and if you, you, uh, there's equipment out there that you can use your eyes, um, Toby eye gaze, so you can actually control the, your cursor, etc. with infrared, um, if you're interested in college, it, it is doable, it is stressful, it is painful, so, um, with stress and anxiety, you know, Back in the good days when I was dealing with stress and anxiety on my feet, I used to obviously um, something happened. Say you know somebody pissed me off and work, which happened quite a lot. And then I would get anxious and angry and a bit. You know, it would all be processed through my mind, and I would think about it a lot. However, as soon as I think about it, or as soon as I come into contact with a bit of stress or my subconscious sometimes takes over as well. My body uh, uh, feels the the wrath if you like so all my nerves literally feels like every single nerve ending in my body is um, running off a generator. Uh, it's a difficult place to be in life and if you're suffering nerve pain any part of your body you'll understand what um, I mean, the unfortunate uh, cure of violence, the unfortunate part about my life at the minute is I can feel, every, well it feels like I can feel every single um, out of use nerve in my body and it's like a firework display but gone wrong, you know what I mean? Like out of control firework display inside my body. Um, I could go on all day about the the pains and all that, but I wouldn't, because most people are be like, Danny, shut it, we've heard it all before, and you probably have. This chat is, um, is that uh, the positive side of, um, if you're in a wheelchair and you're, you're looking for, you know, a new a challenge, something different, and you're thinking college is, college isn't for me, education isn't isn't for me. Um, then you you might not be entirely correct. So this like I said, I was right up against it this morning, and I actually couldn't wait to do this video to and to share because you know I laugh at myself sometimes, and I think Danny, who the do you just crack on every day and, and and it's you know I don't know how I managed to just still keep a 
you know, smile on my face, sit through three hours of maths, and then, um, you know, deal with the pain that comes with it. Like I say, it's nine o'clock this morning, due to, you know, things not going to plan. The class started, and I, and I was uh, I was sitting in the buff. I was absolutely starkers, and uh, I had to email the, the lecturer in the morning to say, I can't, um, I won't be in front of the computer like I usually am for the class with my mic on um, and the uh, uh, lecture was like fine no problem so um, come 10 o'clock I was ready to go ready to rock and roll and then as soon as I sat in front of the computer the lecturer was like right um, if you'd like to take a break now <laughs> so it was just uh, typical but point is uh, during all that do you know the pain the anxiousness you know being a bit snappy, um, you know, the people that work around me deserve a medal for for uh, putting up with some of my moods because when you, you've got no control over anything around you apart from a ver verbally, but then when you're when you're verbal about it and it doesn't go the way you would like it to or the way you've asked to, and then you know it's difficult to hold in all your emotions. Um, but I'm learning, you know, maybe about a year ago I'd have probably bit your head clean off. Um, but nobody wants to care or hang about with that guy. So, you know, you need to remember that um, life throws you a few curveballs every now and then. You just need to, that whole adapt and overcome, you know, take a step back, have a breath think, I never used to think, I used to just let my, my, open my mouth, let my belly rumble and this, the rumble was usually, it was the nice. So, you know, if you want to look at college and you, 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 you think that um, there's, you know, an IT course, something that involves computers because stuck behind a wheelchair all day, you could, you know, you could utilise the fact that you're sitting playing games on solitaire with a, with a mouse controlled by a um, later on in about three or four weeks time I'll be able to demonstrate that I'm going to use a, a quad stick so it's a, a a sip and puff device that I've spoke about in another podcast uh, another uh, video and I'll be able to demonstrate doing other things and hopefully you know give people a bit of confidence and maybe taking on other challenges or um, the, the hard part about it is, you know, sometimes when you're up against it, the pain, the anxiety, the stress, you, you feel like going, do you know what, nah, I'm not playing today, you know, game over, throw in the towel, shut my door, everybody out my room, leave me alone. And I've done that in the past, but it does nothing for you, like, you know, facing it square on giving it big deep breaths, uh, filling up your lungs, they odd, they odd, don't get your, you do need a good team around you, you need people that are friendly, that can talk to you, that can take your, your lip in the morning, you know what I mean, if you're a nasty uh, MF, they can, you know, remember that it's difficult being on this side. It's also difficult being on the carer's side, but you need the carer needs to remember that, you know, it's not personal. Um, excuse me, give it, give it a bit of time, you know, relax, uh, and come back in, and maybe the, the 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 person that they really know will uh, come back out and have a wee chat. Um, so yeah, just you know, if you if you feel like re-educating yourself and you're stuck behind a wheelchair and you don't know what to do, you know, search for colleges near you, find out what they do, they might do like music courses, um, you know, learn how to DJ, I plan on doing that one day, um, pr properly learn how maybe a music engineer or something or sound engineer or, uh, or, you know, there's so many clever people out there that are like, you know, hands free, learning art. Um, people are. I know a few guys that paint with their 
their mouths and and there's digital art. There's just so much stuff you can do with computers and you know. But there's other jobs you can do, I suppose. But um, I'm a bit biased because I like computers and I like what they can do. And, but um, one of the main things that helps me get through stress, anxiety, pain is is good weather. See, I'm in Glasgow at the minute. Uh, well just outside in Erskine and I'm looking up and the sky is bright blue, it's beautiful, the sun is crashing off the walls across the other side of the home and there's there's snow on the ground and see if you can embrace it, but deep breaths, it, like me being, I've been isolated for two weeks, it's really not done many favours, alright we're, you know, slap by in the middle of a pandemic, I went home for Christmas, I had to isolate, you know, bit of a controversial subject, whatever, I've, uh, I've uh, stuck by the rules if you like I'm out tomorrow so you know I'm going for a jolly um, but just looking out the window open your window get fresh air and listen to a little bit of relaxing music but personally that's what I do you know everybody's got their own methods but um, having a bit of me time and then just looking at the, the tranquilness the peacefulness of I've got a wee garden outside. I know it sounds, you know, cheesy, but nature is just does, nah, it does a lot. It's a, a natural healer, I think, just even being in nature. Um, but anyway, enough of, enough of that. Uh, I hope this wee video's helped anyone, give someone a bit of inspiration to maybe just have a look at even a college course. You, you don't need to be paralysed, you, you know. Um, college is hard, regardless of your your uh, capabilities or your your manoeuvrabilities. Um, I'm pff, over twenty years out of education. Um, left school younger than probably I should have started working, and then joined the army at sixteen. So, um, and even in the army when it was you know time to learn stuff, you know my head was wasted. I just wanted to. I just wanted to go with the boys and have a swally, but you know, 35 coming up 36, you, you actually get a wee kick up your ass. You think, oh, maybe I should have, maybe I should have listened to my maths teacher. I think I spent my whole secondary education um, outside classrooms, like on my own table. But now I'm paying for it, and um, but it's doable. Uh, this is the glass house. I think I've spoke about it before, but this comes in really handy, and it did today. Albeit, um, I still couldn't keep up with the class. The class were finishing assignments, handing it in, you know, to the, the lecturer, and I was still going over the the um, the PowerPoint. So before I've even kicked the ball, I'm behind and a block two already. So you need to you need to remember. Um, if you're going to try anything like this and you're um, newly injured because I jumped in a, a bit early I think but I won't quit you know they'll need to kick me off this college course so I'll need to, I'm just going to crack on with it um, but maybe I could have given myself another year find a house find care you know maybe get rid of some of this pain um, get into a routine and then take on you know a degree you know a, a higher education so but if you're like me and you don't think about things and you just dive in crack on uh, anyway I hope this has been helpful and I hope everybody's out enjoying this beautiful day tomorrow uh, apparently it's passioned and can you believe that it's been absolute scorching for the last fortnight I say scorching you know minus three but I love this weather and then tomorrow it's going to be absolutely sidewards rain but I'm out in it and I'm going to get my GoPro, strap it to my head and go for a jolly down to the beach. So if you're running about Erskine Beach and uh, you're walking your dog, I love a bit of dog therapy, then I'll see you down there tomorrow. Bye bye.